Let's talk about this Chinese man that is making heavy wave of headlines in Nigeria. Chinese man identifies as Jeng, a 45 years old, who has allegedly stabbed his lover, a 23 years old woman, Umu, to death at Jambulo local government area of Kano State. So, according to the police and reliable sources, the suspect Jeng, 47 years old, committed the crime on Friday. On the 16th day of September 2022, after scaling the fence of the deceased resident to gain access, where he stabbed her severally until she gave up the ghost. According to Chinese man, he said that the lady deceived him severally and uh, because the lady promised to marry him but betrayed him even after he had spent so much money on her. The Chinese man further stated that he was angered by the deception of the lady and decided to attack and kill disease at her residence. Guys, we should be very careful, you know. The story of this lady and the Chinese has different versions. We have the version of the lady's mother, we have that of friends, we have that of neighbors, and uh, so on. So, but according to the mother of the deceased, who raised alarm during the act, and the police was immediately alerted, the mother said that actually her daughter was dating the Chinese guy for about two years or thereabout, and uh, their relationship ended when her daughter got married. So, after she got married, her marriage lasted for just three months because it's like her husband suspected her dating this Chinese guy before her marriage, marriage to him, and they decided to divorce her. So, it was when the Chinese guy learned that this girl, Umu, had uh, been divorced, that he came back and wanted her again. But she wasn't interested any longer. She just wanted to concentrate. She had just finished her school of uh, nursing and midwife, midwifery in Kano State, and was about to wrap up her NYC service. So I think being a young lady, uh, she just wanted to concentrate to know what she next she wanted to do and know with the Chinese guy. Actually, after... Before her marriage, she agreed to marry the Chinese guy, but it was said her pattern uncles refused based on, you know, tribal, ethnic, and religious uh, barriers. Then, on the other hand, it was said that this Chinese guy sponsored this lady in school, you know, trained her younger ones, and, um, you know, gave two of her brothers job in his own company. That is what people are saying, you know. When things happen, we have different versions of story. So the the guy, I, we, it was even said that the guy bought house for them in a very strategic place in Kano State that ordinarily this lady and her brothers or her family wouldn't have been able to purchase it. So she has this season romance with the Chinese guy, promised to marry him first time. He, she married and divorced, came back home. Then the Chinese man wanted, him at, wanted her at all costs, but she was refusing him. She wasn't picking her calls, and then eventually the Chinese guy came on that day. But some said the mother of the lady said the Chinese guy came late in the evening and was banging on the gate, you know, frantically. He continued knocking, knocking, and then so they felt disturbed and they went to open. The mother of the lady, lady went to open the gate, and the Chinese pushed the elderly woman aside and just went straight to the lady's room and continue you know cutting her until she gave up the spirit guys this is so serious so the chinese man didn't deny he said the lady you know she ha he has spent fortunes on the lady she ha he has been betrayed and uh, you know blah 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 sort of so i think we should just be very careful because love is things of the heart and it's not even good to play along with it don't tamper with, don't trample with somebody's heart don't go too far i know there's no offense you know that warrant taking somebody's life spending is a choice marriage is also a choice but don't go deep don't go far don't gamble with somebody's heart somebody you know you wouldn't marry don't just start giving the impression okay the lady accepted marrying this guy this guy had been given gift according to him buying you know what you know what men can do for a woman when they, when they're in love and merely looking at this Chinese guy's face, you can see the pain, you can see the deceptions, the betrayal all over him, you know, the pain of his heart is really reflecting on his face. 
But uh, I am against taking somebody's life, you know, no matter anything. But we shouldn't go all that far because this guy, Chinese guy, is now desperate and he's out for anything. That is why he went as far as doing that. And it pains me so much being a, a foreigner in another man's land and, uh, you know, having uh, engaging in this type of uh, dangerous act. You know, this guy said he has spent money, spent time, spent energy. Now the Patan uncles, I even learned that they, they said, it was said that they asked this guy to, to obtain Nigeria's citizenship first. But when they were collecting his money, his gift and all these things. So I blame all the parties anyways. I blame all of them. The Chinese guy went straight to this guest room because he was already coming to their house and he knows the guest room. If not, it's not easy for a Chinese man just to enter somebody's house just like that. He has been coming and they've been welcoming him. So you can just see the pain all over him, you know. And the guy was out for anything, was out for anything. So we should be very careful. You know you won't marry somebody. Don't collect money. And when you are giving, give with wisdom. Know your limit. Don't go deep. Don't go too far. So that is it. That's all we have to say for now. Meanwhile, Mona has been buried the same day according to the Islamic rites.